like the one corner in the house that's clean. Yeah. Hello! And welcome to Tidbit Tuesday. I'm Josh. I'm Ashley. And this is our channel, The Way Away. Normally we do a lot of travel content. Today is Tidbit Tuesday, where it is loosely based on travel content. Uh, usually about us, about um, more, more like in depth about travel. And in fact, the last several videos that we've done have been like like relationship videos, I feel like. Yeah, kind of. Someone yeah, said it was like couple therapy. It was like right. couple therapy. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I we've been doing your guys' questions, mm -hmm. but this week I think that this is a question that like we've gotten so often. Yeah, throughout people. the years. Yeah, yeah. So um it's not a particular one person's question, but today we're gonna show you what we pack in our carry-ons while we travel the world. Mm -hmm. This has changed over time. It has, and it constantly changes. Yeah, but I think that we've like cut down on things, um, and this is pretty like minimal. This is what yeah. we know is what we use constantly. Yeah, basically. So rather than a really in-depth relationship video, this one's gonna be a really in-depth what's in the bag video. Yeah. So basically, we're gonna go through both of our carry-ons, my carry-on, Ash's carry-on. You will see that they are the same in many ways, but also wildly different in others, namely in terms of presentation. <laughs> yeah. This video actually is sponsored by Geek Sky, which is our sponsor, um, and we're so thankful to mm -hmm. them. So we're going to share with you guys um, what we carry in our bags, and yeah. it's going to include Geek Sky. Yeah. So this is actually our first sponsored video in probably like a month or so, yeah. and we're super excited to have them on board because um, with sponsors, uh, it, we can continue to create travel content on our channel. So we yeah. thank Big Sky and we use the product a lot. That's actually why we said we wanted to work with them. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually tried the product out first for like a month or two before we even said, okay, yeah, let's do something together. And that was at this point, five or six months ago. Yeah. So if you don't know what Gig Sky is, essentially, this is the pitch, the, the promotional part. Um, it is a travel data sim. It's a SIM card that you can pop in your phone or a mo uh, mobile modem, like rechargeable type deal. And you can just top up and buy data for pretty much anywhere you yeah. go in the world. And I think one of the most unique things about GigSky is that it has um, a companion app for your smartphone. Um, other, other companies have this, not to disparage anyone, but this one works really well and it's really simple. You just type where you wanna go and you hit buy data. And when you land, it's so it works crazy. like you would just have data. It's like that simple. And we you land it. Actually, we're in Turkey right now. Our videos are a little different. That's why our hair looks different. Oh yes, hello. We got haircuts. <laughs> but so we're uh, our videos are a little. We like to say ahead. We're ahead on content. <laughs> yeah, but so we landed here in Turkey um, at two a.m. and without Gig Sky, we would have been stranded because Basically. there was no other way other than using our phones to get a hold of a taxi driver. At the very least, it would have been a lot more hectic. Yeah. At the very least, so um, we pr uh, we promote and we recommend Gig Sky yeah. as your travel data sim provider. So if you are planning to go somewhere or if you are just wanting to top up data, perhaps even while you're at home, or you're just popping across the border perhaps to uh, North America in Canada or North America in Mexico, um, you can just get extra data to travel around without like getting um, like, I guess, uh, what roaming fees from your carrier. Yeah. Depending on every carrier is a little different. Well, we've but. been using them for over five months now and still absolutely love them. I think so. like six months or so. Yeah, yeah. So, and um, we have another contract with them for another four months, so every month you guys will get one amazing video about yep. Sky that just kind of reminds you of how awesome they are. Mm -hmm. But um, it would be really great if you guys click the link down below. Oh, it would mean a lot to us. And this is unscripted. And it would mean a lot to Sky. <laughs> click the link in the description. Yeah. Let them know that you came from us. Um, okay, so we're gonna move on to the actual what's in our bags thing. Yeah, we're gonna do his and hers. Y yeah, yeah, essentially. So, um... Let's just start with mine because I'm really proud of my layout. Okay. Okay. All right, this is my layout. As you can see, it is a bit monochromatic. A bit, not entirely. We have uh, we have black, white, a pop of red, <laughs> and a tiny pop of blue. Pop of red. Uh-huh. Actually, hold on, it's really hot. Okay, sorry if there's AC noise in the background, but it's, it's pretty... It's pretty hot here. <laughs> I almost fell over. Okay, so um, basically I have a backpack. This is not what's in my carry-on. This is my carry-on itself. Um, I designed this backpack. What? I'm very proud of it. But we will not be pimping the link to this because Geeks Guys are sponsored today, so no self-promo <laughs> other than I love, I love that bag. And that's what you use. And that's what I use. That is my carry-on yeah. bag. Um, so 
Basically, I've got uh, a bunch of things. Um, First off, it's broken into two categories. Things I have to carry with me because of flight regulations and things I want to carry with me because I use them. Um, things I have to carry. My drone. Um, the batteries in this are too big for uh, a check bag. You're not really supposed to have any batteries in your check bag, so I have to carry the drone. Plus, I don't really trust it um, to be checked because bags go missing and things go missing in the bags all the time. So. Um, yeah, I, I carry my drone with me. I also carry my laptop because I use it and because it has a giant battery in it. So again, regulations, you have to, you basically have to carry your laptop. Um, sunnies, we've been in really sunny weather lately. These are super cheap ones that were given to me for free <laughs> by an unnamed sponsor from a different sponsored video. Um, actually, uh, Eric from the Endless Adventure is still wearing his from something we did together. Um, I, I have my charger for my laptop. I, I just need that all the time. Um, along with the charger, something I need is this adapter here. Um, this is pretty cool. It's got two ports so I can use my um, North America style plugs and it's got USBs so we can charge pretty much everything we need including batteries for the camera which again I need to carry with me because of flight regulations and because you just never know when you might need an extra battery, right? Um, chopstick. Got to stay hydrated, got to moisten the lippers. Headphones, I go through headphones like crazy lately because I just can't bring myself to spend a lot of money on a good pair of headphones when I haven't had time to do the research. And yeah, so cheap headphones. Kindle, I love to read. I do not find time to read lately. So I carry it with me and I'm sad to say I have read uh, about 30 minutes in the past six months. So I'm actually pretty disappointed at myself over that. Um, I have a hard drive with which to edit and work on all of our projects. Um, this is a solid state hard drive. Love it. Um, passport, because you need it. Um, I usually have my wallet in my pocket and it's brown. It didn't go with my monochromatic theme, oh so it's not on the gosh. table. <laughs> but it is in your pocket and it's not in, in pocket your carry on. And not in my carry on. And hand sanitizer, which I only recently picked up because we were in Asia a bunch and I just felt like everything I touched got my hands like sticky. Like physically sticky, not not dirty, but like just sticky. So that helped clean the stickiness off. And you often eat with your hands and stuff. So I felt it was nice to clean my hands before I ate. Um, what am I missing? Oh yes, the sponsored content. This is something I genuinely carry with me and genuinely use. This is the, um, I lost the word, modem. This is the mobile modem from GigSky. Um, basically, you buy it from them and it ships with a SIM card pre-installed you basically have to do nothing other than register it to your app, which is as simple as taking a photo of the packaging that comes with it, and the app reads the photo and inputs all the data for you, and then you just add data. So you hold down the power button, and uh, you hold down the power button for a little longer than I just did, and it says, welcome, and it boots up, and while that's booting up, you can actually have a quick boot option, but I don't have it turned on at the moment. Um, and then the other sponsored content is GigSky, of course. Um, this is the app portion, but also I had the GigSky SIM installed into my phone. And as I mentioned before, that lets me top up data pretty much anywhere I go. So when we were in India previously, um, we had data from India. And oddly and or thankfully, Turkey is in the same region as India in, in terms of data. So I was able to use the same data that we had in India that worked seamlessly in Turkey. So the same data, same phone, same device that I had in, uh, in India, when I landed in Turkey, it just worked. I just had data and it just worked and there was no hassle, no problems. It connected to a local carrier. So basically GigSky has um, purchased data from local carriers around the world and it automatically connects you to that local carrier when you arrive and when you land and when there's a signal available. So um, if you have connection problems, it's not on GigSky. Thankfully, I've had almost no connection problems, except for places where infrastructure is perhaps not so good, India. Um, but I've had really, really good results with it everywhere we've gone. Uh, the cool thing is, is that we both can connect to it. So yeah. the one device and both of us can be on it. Right, so I was getting to that. Basically, you have a SIM card in your phone that's for your one device. And then if you want to share data, um, you can use the, mob the modem. This takes the 3G signal from your mobile carrier, wh whomever it, they're using, and it outputs a Wi-Fi signal, just like you would your Wi-Fi router in your home. 
and um, multiple people can connect to it. So one device with its own rechargeable battery, not sucking the battery off of your phone, and both Ashley and I can connect to that. So uh, yeah, that's basically what's in my bag. And I think it's over to Ashley now. Get my GigSky sim out of here. Ashley's going Possibly. the extra mile so we can get the GigSky branding in the photo. Yeah. Well, it's also just so cute. And simple. Look, even Ashley can do it. <laughs> okay, that's rude. <laughs> when she describes it's all of her stuff. It's part of my carry-on. It's the tiniest piece. Oh, clever. <laughs> all right, we are no longer in the, the clean corner of the room. There's okay. the unmade bed. Don't There's drying laundry. But this... Suspension of disbelief right here. Okay, you're using something already. Yes. <laughs> Everything in my carry-on I use constantly because not only when I carry it on a plane, but when we're in a house or whatever, I always know everything has a spot. If it's not put back in that spot, I can never find it. And it's really annoying because I know where everything goes. Chapstick. Josh and my um, carry-ons are very similar because we've learned over the years that what we need is what we need. So I have chapstick. I have mints. Josh doesn't carry them, but he really likes that I Thank give you. him them all the time. You're, you're like a, a <laughs> teen mom, always handing out <laughs> yeah. snacks and different okay, things. Okay, so that's my other one. These almonds represent snacks because my carry-on is where we carry all of our snacks that we need while we're traveling. And um, I'm prone to get hangry, so it's good that I um, carry them because I'm more tolerable, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <But> mind. <laughs> Sunglasses, um, uh, my headphones, obviously, very important. This is something I carry that Josh doesn't carry. This is a splitter, so that if we both want to watch something together, we can just pop both our headphones in there and watch it. Or podcasts. And listen to it. Yeah, we can listen to ooh, podcasts. Ooh, quick plug. You can download podcasts when you have data, and podcasts don't take up much data, like maybe 20 megabytes for 40 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. I use... Um, we have definitely done that. I listen to podcasts all the time. I also use my Kindle, but unlike Josh, I've read two books in the last month. You've been doing great. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have a Glyph hard drive, but it's um, a golden one, and her name is Cleo. My new camera that I've been learning how to use and been taking p pictures more recently. Before that, we I did not do it. Um, I always carry pens. This is my pen pouch. It has um, little sticky notes in it, pencils, pens. This is what I use when I write your guys' postcards for Patreon. And, and then, for your calendar. Yeah, and then I always have a calendar. This is so important to me because this is where we make, where I make all of our plans. Ashley's old school. She loves to write it all down. I prefer that over um, online, although we're now using a um, really great um, online thing to plan everything out. And well, it's you, you awesome. kind of like sketch it all down in there for like travel plans. And yeah. then we put content plans on this online thing. Yeah, yeah. So... I just love having this with me. I have it on my carry-on, so if I have any questions about what we're doing, what like if I made a mistake, I can go to that. I have my passport. Always on planes, I get freezing cold, so um, this is not the jacket, but I have a jacket. It's a down jacket, and it's probably one of the best purchases we've made while we've been traveling. Um, also, I have some headache pills and motion sickness um, medicine because I am prone to motion sickness, and having it easily in my carry-on is very important. Lastly, the cutest and smallest portion of my carry-on. Hold on. Hey. Focus. Got it. <laughs> this is my Kick Sky SIM card and it's so cute. And I just leave it in my phone all the time. Okay. I don't use... I mean, you took it out for the shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't even have another SIM card. This is the only SIM I have. And I use it every single day. Like, yeah. And then we have it in our cell phones. I charge my cell phone. And that's pretty much it. That's all that's in my carry-on. But this little guy, this has saved my life a bazillion, gazillion times. Not to mention, Ashley is mostly in charge of the Instagram. So yes. you use that for work. I do constant Instagram stories. And this is how I upload my stories while we're out and about. It's the only way. Otherwise, before I had to save them and then remember when we came back to Wi-Fi to upload them, 
Oh, and you, and, and so you never many did. times, yeah. yeah, yeah, I forgot about it, and then they're out of sequence, and it's just I mean, such a pain. Instagram is something that is supposed to be done the moment I feel, especially for stories. Yeah, like it's about that uh, instantaneous yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah, immediate. And when you have Gay Sky, you can just upload immediately in the moment, or it's the only way look up data, or tag a location, or find information about where we actually are. These little lines here. This is what gives you guys our Instagrams. <laughs> this little guy right here. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much to Gigs Guy for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was inside of our carry-ons. It's something that a lot of people have asked us and wanted to know a long time ago, and if we would have shown this to you when we started, first started traveling three years ago, it would have mm -hmm. been totally different. But now, our carry-ons are perfect, really. Uh, yeah. There's nothing I would change, but... I would even have less stuff if I could. If there's something that you would change or you would mm. add to our carry-ons, yeah. put it in the comments below. Let us know what we missed, what's important to you. I'd love to know that. Yeah, and be sure, again, to check the link in the description for Gig Sky, our sponsor for this video and sponsor for the channel, and uh, an all-around help everywhere we go every single day as we travel the world. So if you are looking for travel yeah. data, um, or just you're planning to go for a short trip somewhere, or you just need extra data, check out the link in the description. You for can have the guy. cutest, tiniest portion of your carry-on. I love that that's your pitch. You're, you're like, <laughs> you can have a cute <laughs> SIM card. It's not. It's tiny. Fair enough. All right, Wave Fam, I hope we encourage you to get there and travel today. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for enjoying Tidbit Tuesday with us. Yep. Bye. Bye.